and welcome back to the MKW Free Game Show. My name is Braxton Hopkins, alongside with me, Jake Coulter, Leopard's number two overall pick and pitcher. Jake's pretty happy about that last series. You just spoke to you guys to keep the series back on track. Now for your slate for the match against me, the Cranes, who are playing today against the Sabres, the best team in the league. We are 3-0, they are 3-0. Should be a fun matchup. But I think some of the talking points today, let's get into that. Especially for the Cranes. We finally get our full team back. Roman Fair is available today. He will be at the ballpark for hopefully all three games today. That should help we help out our team. Finally, the team I draft that I get to put on the field and see how it does. And see what we've got heading into the postseason potentially soon. And also, I think I'm going to take a bigger role on the mound pitching-wise. Last uh, last matchup, it was Brandon, who was our sub. He was a pretty good pitcher, so I let him do most of the work. But I think hopefully I go on the mound some more. Hopefully it'll yield some good results. Then we just look at the Sailors. I mean, domination, that's what they just got to keep going. They haven't played since opening day, so maybe potentially a little bit rusty. And we're playing at a different site than where they played opening day, so it could be different for them to adjust to the new playing surface, which is not the best surface they got out there. But, I mean, we make it work. I think that's what they got to do, just keep hitting the bat, or hit the, hit the bats. Mm -hmm. I think they just got to keep hitting the ball and I just pitching well. I think Kingston Gadget personally should take more of a role on the mound pitching-wise because in game three, uh, I think right at the top of the third yeah. against the Leopards, they were up 8-0, and then the, uh, the Leopards had that rallying inning, inning where they put up seven and almost won the game. They still lost, but I think that was when Thomas wasn't on, so potentially you're – I think we're going to see kinks in a lot more here. Poten potentially, Thomas, well, I don't know. He'll make that decision before game time, who pitches when, who pitches where. But I think the last thing we got to do now is get it, set it on the field. Let's go. As we kick this one off here, as Braxton Hopkins, I'm on the call. Roman Fair walks for the start off the game. And then Braxton Hopkins also is going to walk here first and second. And the sub for Griffin Hickey. Also is going to walk there. He's going to load the bases for Roman Fair. He takes a walk, which is going to bring in the first run of the game for the Cranes. It's Braxton Hopkins now up to bat. They're going to say that pitch hit the leg. Ball four going to walk in the second run of the inning. As they finally determine there that it was a walk. And then Griffin hit walks there, bringing in the third run That's of four, the inning. That's four, dog. As Thomas Guzdala is struggling right now. And as he walks Roman Fair for the fourth run of the inning. And Braxton Hopkins comes up, but Thomas finally finds the zone. Strike three, one out of way now. As Griffin Hickey comes up to bat, takes ball four, and that is going to be the fifth run, five-run mercy for the inning. And then a gypsy drop pitch hung in the air by Braxton, and that was absolutely crushed by Kingston Godzik. Not a very good pitch placement there as he just absolutely destroys that high pitch. As he hit in the celly on third base, look at him go. He is an absolute natural who was brought into this league with a lot of talent for this Sailors team. As now they're going to bring up Thomas Guzdala as Braxton holds the wind up, the pitch. And it's going to be grounded down the line off the wall by Thomas Guzdala. That's going to be brought back in quickly. He only gets a single. And this pitch was a strikeout. There was a mound function with the camera. As now they're going to bring up Kingston Godzik. And he is going to be walked there as it's going to be first and second for the Sailors. As Thomas goes down up to bat, he's going to ground this one to fair. And he's going to step on third for the out. There's two outs away. But Bennett Bigel was smart. And all the runners moved up bases third and second. As Grayson Hopkins up to bat, strike three swings at the high pitch. As they get out of the inning, it's only 5-1 to one as we end at the first inning. Heading into the second inning, Roman Fair going to start us off. He's going to be, he will walk ball four, start off the inning. As now Braxton Hopkins up to bat, as he's going to ground this one into play. He's going to try to beat it out, but Thomas doesn't even attempt to make a throw. Potentially smart on his part. Griffin's going to ground this one into play. Braxton Hopkins didn't know the situation, and he gets tagged out there, but there's now first and third. And I think eventually they were going to rule this pitch that he went around. Strike three call. This is going to bring up Braxton Hopkins as he swings at a miss. It's going to end the inning for the Cranes as Kingston takes ball four there, not even attempting to hit the ball. And then Thomas Guzdala swings and a miss. Strike three for Thomas. 
It's strike three for Grayson. Braxton Hopkins is dealing right now. As here's the pitch to Godzik. As Godzik's going to send this one to right field. Gone. Goodbye. His second run of the game and only in the first game of the series. A two-run shot, which makes it a 5-3 to three ball game. As in Thomas is going to walk there to keep the inning alive. As here's the pitch for Grayson. And he's going to swing and miss at a high strike three as now the last chance for the Cranes to get some more runs here at the end of the second inning. As we head into the third, Griffin Hickey leading off, going to take ball four. As Roman Fair up to bat is going to hit him, going to be ball four. First and second now for the squad. As Braxton Hopkins up to bat now, and he swings and misses at a good pitch there. Strike three called. They're one out, first and second. As they bring in Kingston, he's going to walk someone. Double doink on the legs. As a Bears fan, that hurts. And here's the pitch. Strike three for Roman Fair. Two out of way now. As Braxton Hopkins doing a weird batting stance. But he's going to be able to get that for ball four. It's going to be a 6-3 ball game. As then he's going to spot up. They After further review, they hit the zone. As Kingston gods, it takes ball four there to start off the inning for the Sailors. As Thomas Guzdalov grounds this ball in the play, but he flips it over Kingston Godzik instead of going for the peg. But then they get Kingston on the peg there, but Thomas moves up to second. What an out there by the Cranes. This is one out now. Grayson's going to ground this ball into play. Nowhere to go. He's just going to call time first and third for the Sailors. Kingston Godzik up to bat. Sh the strike three. The two the outs. Field. One Kingston more out to go. Safe at first. As he's going to ground this ball into play, toss the first. But after further review, Griffin bobbled that ball so the run would score. As Griffin's holding the ball, as all the runners are advancing now, but Grayson's going to go back to third. As, as it hit the zone, that would be time, but Thomas was able to move up to second. And Griffin, or Grayson Hopkins up to bat. Is he's going to take ball four. Kingston Godzik up to bat. He's also going to take ball four. He's going to walk in another run for the squad. As Thomas goes down up to bat, goes yard. A walk-off grand slam for the Sailors. The Cranes were ever so close to breaking up the undefeated season and keeping their season undefeated. But an absolute bomb there by Thomas Guzdala as I will be signing off for the first game. We'll see you in game two. Back on the call here for game two as it starts off with a walk there for Kingston Godzik. As in Thomas Guzdala heads up to bat, he's going to wind this ball into right field. Godzik's going to head all the way to third base. And Tom's is going to move up to second there. <coughs> Pardon me. As Griffin or Grayson swings and a miss, strike three to get one out of way now. As Kingston Godzik up to bat, going to send this one down the line. Grayson has to scurry all the way back since it was hit right in front. As a run scores there. As Thomas was Dalla sends this ball deep, a three run shot there for the Sailors. What a home run there as they all round the bases. Kingston Godzik basically gets attacked there as Thomas Gazdala hitting the bird celebration as he sweeps off home plate as they are going for the sweep today as Grayson Hopkins gets a walk. Kingston Godzik up to bat. He's also going to take a walk. And now Roman Fair coming in to pitch for the Cranes and the pitch. And Thomas Guzdal already flips the bat for a walk as he knew it was coming. As Grayson Hopkins does the same gangsta move. As that is going to be the mercy for the inning as the Cranes now come up to bat. As now Roman will take a walk here as so did Griffin. First and second as now they bring up Braxton Hopkins. Here is the pitch from Godzik. As he holds up there, bases loaded. Going to bring up Griffin Hickey with the bases loaded. Strike three there. What a pitch there from Godzik as Griffin chucks the bat at a good country mile. Oh, what a slider there from Kingston Godzik to strike him out. Right on the top corner as Braxton Hopkins up to bat. Oh, hits the pre-pitch walk thing as well. So Griffin takes a walk. That's going to be two runs for the squad. 
Roman Fair up to bat. Strike three as he takes that paper looking right down the pipe as that ends the first inning. As Kingston Godzik up to bat. Roman still pitching. Going to ground this ball down the line as Griffin struggling to get it, but eventually gets it quick enough to where Kingston doesn't move up. And now Thomas goes down up to bat. He's going to line this one down the line, but they get Kingston at second. Good heads up play there for the Cranes. Griffin to Braxton is their one out of way now. It's, oh, Grayson already takes the walk. He knew it was coming to. Roman's struggling right now. As Kingston guys go up as they bring in Griffin Hickey. Going to put this ball right on the ground. He's going to try to get the out at third, but to no avail. And he pops this one up down the line as he tried to get him at home, but Grayson was ruled safe, but that stopped all runners. As he's also going to walk now as Grayson gently sets down the bat. Kingston gods it up as he's going to send that ball gone. Home run for the squad. As the Sailors are on top right now in game two. As it looks like they are on full domination of this series. As Kingston running all the way around the bases. Hitting all the sellers. As Jay comes right out to celebrate with them. The cameraman running out there. What a hit there. Bomb. Go, go, gone. As Braxton Hopkins and lead off. Ground this ball down to Thomas. Thomas makes a bad throw. Gets away. Hopkins is going one. He's going for two. And it's going to be a bad throw there. As he's going to get a Little League triple here. What a play there to start off for the Cranes. A Little League triple. As here's the pitch. As he's going to take ball four. Going to be first and second for the Cranes. Is Bennett Biga subbing in for Roman? Takes ball four as he was doing a chopping thing before. I have no idea what that was, folks. Braxton Hopkins up again. As after further review, they were going to rule that pitch as a walk that hit the leg. As it's ball four. As Griffin takes ball four. That's going to be a run for the squad. And he's up to bat. Bennett Biga takes a walk. Going to walk in another run for the team. As they're going to bring in Thomas Guizdala. As Braxton lines this ball that would have got over but robbed by Kingston. The frustration was showing there. He chucks the bat down. But Griffin takes a walk and then just throws the bat for no reason. That's his signature. As he throws it, Griffin tries to get the out at first. But Thomas wasn't all the way on the bag. He was safe as Griffin's now coming home. But it didn't matter because that was the mercy. End of the second inning here. As Thomas was down, was going to pop it up. It was in the way, but it wasn't ruled interference. Tried to peg him. Now he's going to. Roman's slow to grab the ball, but it was ruled out of play. As, so Thomas would get second, and Grayson takes a walk first and second. As Kingston's going to send that ball gone. As Griffin tries to jump over and tears the fence. Uh, the Drew Davis of the MKW trying to jump for every home run. As Kingston hits this. The picture Selly on second base as he's rounding the bases. As there he goes. He's taking his time walking around the bases as Jay Corcoran runs out to celebrate with him once more. And he sweeps off home plate. There he goes. As this game is soon to be out of reach. Thomas. Oh, what a pitch. The gypsy drop gets him there. As Grayson Hopkins up to bat. Slider in doesn't work. It is now for runner on first. It's Kingston batting lefty. Gonna pop this ball up. Caught by Braxton Hopkins. Good play there. And a way to take it himself. As Thomas goes down up to bat. Gonna ground this ball into play. Roman drops the ball, but he's not grabbing it as Grayson's able to run around the bases now. As now Tom he didn't call time, so Thomas was able to take second as Roman now is just messing around. And here's the pitch, just just a bit outside as Grayson's going to take a walk. As Kingston's going to send this ball down the, into the, in the left field. As Grayson's going to try to come home, and he will score. And that will be the mercy for the after, game. After that hit there, it was too many runs for us to come back from the last inning. As you know, the mercy rule is 10. So therefore, as a mercy, Sailors win. They have won the series. We're going to play game three. Here we go. As I am now signing off for Game 2, we'll see you back for Game 3. Braxton Hopkins here, back on the call for Game 3. Crane's trying to avoid the sweep as Griffin takes a walk there. 
to start off the game as Braxton Hopkins up to bat is going to send this ball gone. An absolute moonshot of a home run. That ball didn't land for a while. Absolute crushed. Go, 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 gone. A two run shot that started off for the Cranes as Griffin's walking around the bases as he's about ready to get lapped by Braxton Hopkins as he hits the celly. One, two, ba ba boom. And I may have hit Jay a bit too hard there, but it's okay. I hit a home run. And Roman Fair up to bat. Going to take ball four as the pitch almost hit the camera. As he throws the bat all the way out to the outfield. And Griffin takes strike three, swinging as he throws the bat all the way near the road. And then I send another ball gone. Braxton Hopkins going off in this game. Have a day. Two home runs on two Thomas Guzdal attempted knuckleballs. As yes, Thomas and Colin Jarbo of the Scorpions, those two have knuckleballs they've been working on. They are pretty nasty, but that one was taken for a home run. As Roman Fair up to bat, as he's going to take strike three, as he's going to throw the bat right back at the pitcher and the inning. Now Kingston's going to take a walk to start it off for the Sailors. As Roman Fair on the mound. As Thomas Guzdala is takes a walk there. As Roman going to try to get Grayson. It's going to be ruled for ball four. It's going to load the bases. As Kingston Godzik's going to take it for ball four. Going to walk in a run for the Sailors. And then Tom is going to ground this ball. But instead, Roman tries to push the runner. And he, Grayson was eventually safe. But he throws at the backstop to stop it. And then but Kingston's going to ground this ball down the line. Jay was touching the base and then picked the ball up so there wasn't out there because of the ghost runner, so it was bases loaded. As Grayson sends this shot into center field, as Kingston's going to score as the ball is loose right now. It never hit the backstop, but Jay is able to get the ball. As Kingston Godzik is going to take that for ball four as Griffin Hickey comes in to pitch. That is an intentional walk to end the inning. It is 5-4 Sailors heading in the second. Here we go. As it here, we are at the end of the inning because that was an intentional walk. Smart move there by Hopkins, the manager. Griffin Hickey's gonna take a haul, a high, I'm sorry, a high strut, a high pitch there for ball four. As Braxton Hopkins is also gonna take a ball four as that pitch hit the strike zone. Or not the strike zone, as Jay's gonna take a walk there. As base is loaded for Griffin Hickey, the pitch. And eventually they're gonna rule that he did go as so does Braxton Hopkins. Nasty pitches there. As now Griffin's going to take a walk. It's going to be a run. As Griffin chucks the bat again. That is his signature move. As Hopkins up again. Going to pop this one up. That's going to get down. As Jay's going to have to try to run in the score. And Griffin's going to... The throw gets away. So Griffin will have to go back to third. But that... So now it's going to be bases loaded as Jay takes a walk there. As Griffin sends that ball, g -g 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 gone home run for the kid. As Griffin flies around the bases, a big home run there for the Cranes. And I think that would be the inning mercy, if I am not mistaken, as he hits the Jazz Chisholm Euro step in the third, as he hits it now into home. As now Kingston Godzik up to bat, going to send that ball, gone again. Kingston has Braxton's number. As he's now going to try to go get that ball, which was sent a country mile as Kingston's round those bases with pride. I think that might be his third or fourth home run on the series, folks. Have a day, Kingston Godzik. As he's now... I don't know what that celebration is. I guess he's trying to reel in something there. As Thomas goes double, here's the pitch. Way too high there. That slider got took into the wind. Ball four. Now Grayson Hopkins up to bat. He's also going to take ball four there. As Hopkins is struggling right now, but he's going to get the ground ball for Godzik. He's going to tag, tag slash peg Thomas out at third. He's going to get it out there. He's going to ground this ball into center field. Grayson could score, but Jay has got to throw that ball in, but he calls time. Grace is loaded. Grayson's up to bat. Going to hit this ball. Con Grand slam. Brother beat brother grand slam. A good moment there for the 10-year-old, the youngest player in the league. An absolute moonshot there. And that's going to be the inning, Mercy, as that ends the inning. As Braxton Hopkins up to bat, it off. Kingston Godzik going to ground this ball into play. 
And no, it's going to get past him as he's thought about going to, but just stays there. First hit off of Kingston. Guys, I guess Jay's going to slip and try to get there as they got him out at second, but Jay gets the first. Strike three there for Griffin Hickey as the Sailors are getting through it. They are doing so well right now. But Braxton Hopkins is going to take a walk to make it first and After second. After further review, the runner was pegged as out at second. Gonna, or Jay's going to hit it off of Thomas. As the run would score, but after further review, it did peg out the runner at second, so it's a 13-12 ball game as Thomas and Grayson's now going to ground this into play. He's going to be safe there as Grayson thought about Intentional going Intentional walk there. from Braxton. Guys up first and third. And now it is pouring now. As ground ball into play. Kingston's going to score. As he's going to score, but he's going to call time. It's now a tie ball game. He's going to pop it up. Hopkins makes the play in the rain. That ball's got to be slippery as that ends the inning. As we head into extra innings, the first ever extra inning rain game as Griffin takes a walk there. As now Braxton Hopkins up to bat. As he's going to swing and miss strike three, a good pitch there. Corcoran shirts off. He's going to take that pitch for ball four. So would Griffin Hickey. That pitch hit the leg as everything's falling over now in the wind. And now Braxton Hopkins up. He gets that bat out of the way, takes ball four. So does Jay Corcoran. Griffin up the bat now. And he's also going to take ball four, walking in a lot of runs. But Jay will take a strike three, but they still got a lot of runs and it's still two outs. And another walk there for Hickey. Oh, no. Can we score unlimited? All right, it was an intentional walk, so a run would score. So now 18-13, unlimited runs here in the bottom half of the inning. Here we go. As Thomas Guzdala is hitting now for the Sailors. And he's going to take ball four. They got to get a rally here. Grayson's going to send that ball. Tipped off of Griffin and gone. Griffin tried to make a top ten play. But ended up giving up a two run home run. But you can't really fault him for that. He had to go full extension for that ball. Just a tough play. You can't fault him for that. As now Kingston Godzik up to bat. As he's going to ground this ball out into play. But Braxton was able to run out there and make the play. As Thomas Guzdala is going to be struck out. One, two more outs to go. As Grayson's going to take the ball for there. As he's going to walk first and second for Guzdala. He hit that ball into play. Corcoran makes the play at second. As they, But we're going to go to review. Here's the review, call. He was out at second base. So therefore that is three outs. And the Cranes win game three. Lep uh, Sayers take two out of three in the series. It's Braxton Hopkins signing off. We'll see you next time. Sayers take two out of three. Yep. So, Sayers, you guys take two out of three on the series. First sweep. First series that was not a sweep this year. How are you guys feeling headed in? Heading into the All-Star break. You guys get to, go, you get to go to Myrtle Beach for a baseball tournament, if you guys didn't know. How are you guys feeling being 5-1 and one in first place in the NCAA? Oh, I feel pretty good because the Scorpions, they, oh, as you know, they're 0-6. And, and, I mean... That's an easy game. And so. we should be 6-0 right now. <laughs> should be 6-0, but... Hey, because, but you know, this, all jokes aside... This, the MLW is with the Mitten Tournament, and I will pay for it because... No, we're not doing one... We're not doing a team. So I have one more question for you guys. Are you ready for some more? Yes, sir. Yes. MPW, see you next time.